guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to finally another video. It has been three to four weeks since I last uploaded a video and I feel so extremely guilty about it. So I just wanted to say sorry to you guys for that. But of course I have all of my reasons for it. And of course you guessed it, it was school. Usually when the year starts, you have like the first two weeks of school, they're just like pleasure weeks. It's just like, yeah, it's not really school. But this year has been completely different because every teacher was like, you have to study about nine chapters for each subject and I have about 10 subjects. So I have to study like around 90 chapters full of math and physics and chemistry and biology and French. But today I'm back, so that's that's all fine. And this video is about the second edition of the Read a Theme Readathon. For this edition, we chose the theme Cozy Reads because I mean, fall is coming. I'm not very excited about it because I love the summer. But then again, a lot of people really like fall. So Cozy Reads is just a theme that we all agree read on would be absolutely perfect. So the second edition of the Read a Theme Readathon takes place from September 30th, which is next Friday, or actually this Friday at 6 p.m. until October 2nd at midnight. Feel free to join us. You just can participate. You don't have to like make videos about it, but if you want to, definitely do so. We also have Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I will probably be hosting like the Snapchat things because I created the Snapchat for the Read a Theme Readathon. And because I haven't had a lot of time to read lately, I just, I just haven't been able to pick up a book on my own for three to four weeks. Like I've only read books for English and Dutch, but I just haven't read a book for my pleasure. So I hope that maybe next weekend I will be able to do so, but I'm not too sure. So that is why I will be doing a Cozy Reads recommendation instead of my TBR, because I'm still not too sure if I will be participating in the reading part of this readathon which is what a readathon is about but whatever right now I will show you guys my fall or cozy reads recommendations so the first book that I have to recommend for this one is a book that I think I've never shown on booktube before but it is we were liars by E Lockhart but of course lots of you guys have probably heard of this book and to be honest I'm not a big fan of thrillers and just mystery books but this is like a contemporary mystery book and it is really good this is one of the very first books that I bought because of booktube and I really enjoyed it. I do know that some people have mixed feelings about it. It's also super short, so I might pick this one up maybe because it's short and rereadable and I've been wanting to reread this book for a while. So the only thing that I will say is that it is just a really good mystery book and with a cup of tea, this is even more perfect. Then a genre that I love to read during the fall and the winter and it just makes me feel cozy. But this genre itself is not cozy, it is fantasy. I love to read fantasy and I also have a gigantic fantasy craving right now. So of course, if you think about fantasy, I just absolutely have to recommend all of Sarah J. Mass's books, even though I've only read the first two books in the Throne of Glass series. But for this particular recommendation, I'm recommending the Akatar series. I have read A Court of Thorns and Roses this past summer in America, but I would have loved this even more if I read this during the fall because it gave me like the fall slash winter vibe, even though a good chunk of it takes place in the spring court where it's always spring, but it just, it just made me feel like it was fall, you know what I mean? I love this book, but the book that I of course love even more is of course A Court of Mist and Fury or Akamath. This one was even better than Akatar, and you've probably heard it from all of the booktubers, but it is true. It did take me a while to get into this one. It's not like my favorite book of all time, like it is for everyone else, but but I did really enjoy it and it is definitely one of my favorite reads of this year. But especially this book gave me more of like the fall slash winter vibes and I just love the night court and I love Perithian and I love, love, love Feyre and Rysand or Rhysand. It's just so good, it's so, so good. Then an obvious choice for like fantasy reads that give me a cozy feeling are of course the Harry Potter books, but that one is just obvious, so I'm just quickly mentioning it. And if you are a bigger fan of contemporary, I definitely have to recommend the To All the Boys of Love Before Duology by Jenny Han. I flew through these two books until so far, and I'm kind of like meh about it becoming a trilogy. I'm kind of loving it, like I'm very excited to see like what's gonna happen in the third book, but then again, not because I just, 
I don't, I don't know what to think about it. But these books made me feel super cozy because Laura Jean was always talking about baking and spending time with her sisters and just doing all of these fun activities. And Jenny Haunt's writing style is just so addictive. I just could not stop reading it. And then the last contemporary that I want to mention is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Again, I read this book last year and last year I didn't really do booktube that often. I just haven't told you guys that I have read this book actually and it was really awesome. Like it's not a 5 out of 5 stars for me, but it was like a 4.5. I love the whole going back to school vibe, the college vibe, even though I don't know what it would feel like to go to college. This book did give me like a really good impression of that. I read this on the train, I read this here in my room, I read this downstairs. You just have to read it to understand why I think that this is a cozy read. So those were my cozy slash fall reads recommendations and I hope that you guys will be participating in the second edition of the read a theme readathon if you are participating please let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and i will see you guys next time bye